Today, new techniques offer great advances for recreating a natural looking hairline. Men can begin to lose their hair as early as their late teens, although some men don't have hair loss until they're in their 40s or 50s. Men's hair tends to thin at the hairline and crown in what is called male pattern baldness. When women have thinning, it tends to occur more uniformly. One thing is certain, it gets worse as you age. While medical treatments can definitely slow down hair loss to some degree, there are only a few drugs that can actually regrow hair, and the results are somewhat variable. Once the medication is stopped, the newly grown hairs typically fall out. However, hair restoration surgery can implant hair that will grow naturally and can be virtually undetectable when done by an experienced surgeon. Hair transplants work a little like planting a garden. Hair is removed from one area and transferred to thinning areas. The newly planted hair falls out, leaving behind a seed that grows back. The hair will continue to grow in the new area for as long as it would have grown where it was before. Also, because it has the same color and texture as the hair in the donor area, it looks completely natural. The most state-of-the-art technique is called follicular unit hair transplantation. Each follicular unit is obtained by a sectioning a fine strip of skin, usually from the back of the scalp. Small incisions are then made in the transplant area in the same direction as the hair grows, and the grafts are carefully transferred onto those sites. The transplanted hairs will initially fall out within two to three weeks. Approximately two to three months later, they will regrow. A fine scar remains at the donor site, but the same site can be used for subsequent transplants without creating any additional scarring. Several areas can be filled in during a single session in your doctor's office or surgery center. The procedure is performed under local anesthesia with a team of surgical assistants and may take as long as six hours to complete. There is some discomfort for the first few nights and temporary swelling of the forehead that lasts for about a week. For best results, hair restoration surgery should be performed by a board-certified surgeon who specializes in hair replacement. It is advisable to consult with several doctors to discuss all your options. Transplants actually work as well in women as they do in men and can be used to fill in thinning spots. To learn more, see an experienced hair restoration surgeon in your area. Want to learn more? Check out other videos and sources on this site for more information.